Hi everyone, it's Rachel Kleiman from rwcrafts.com. I know it's been a while. Hopefully I can update you all at the end of the video if there's some time. Thanks for sticking with me and I really appreciate you watching. For now, let's jump right into this Halloween tag that I'm going to be creating. I'm getting started with the brand new Distress Mica Stain sprays from Tim Holtz. These sprays are gorgeous, but they are seasonal, so it's possible that they might be sold out by the time you see this video. Any spray will work. I think Dina Wakely sprays in similar colors would be equally as awesome on this tag. So I'm getting started now with a Tim Holtz stencil. The stencil is called Deco Arch. And I do have everything that is available linked below in the description. So if you're curious to see what's there, then check the description. Um, I'm just going through right now a lot of my Tim Holtz add-ons and doodads. Some of these are older. Some of them are newer. The great thing about Tim Holtz is even with the seasonal items, they do kind of tend to repeat sometimes. So you can typically find something similar, if not exactly the same. So this is from... This married couple is from an Ancestors paper dolls pack, which I'm going through my stash with these seasonal things. It's no longer sold, but I'm sure you can find something similar through the paper dolls Tim Holtz collection. I'm coloring it with Faber-Castell. These are called Pit Big Brush Pens, and inside is India ink. So you have a couple seconds to kind of spread it around with your finger, and once it's dried, it's permanent. So I'm just adding some orange and turquoise and walnut brown colors to kind of give it a like old vintage faded look to this sweet little married couple that's not creepy looking at all. <laughs> um, I'm using this frame. This frame is from the new Halloween uh, baseboards collection, I believe. Again, it's linked. If it's still available, great. If not, don't worry. I'm sure you'll find something similar in whatever new releases Tim Holtz has coming up. I did some embossing dauber with some distress powder in hickory smoke color. I'm just trying to add some texture to that frame. And I'm going to use it to go around the married couple here. And I'm going to trim them out so that it's just what's inside the frame because, you know, the tag is only so big. And then you'll see that I add some chunky glass glitter. Again, with my seasonal project, product, projects, I try to go through my old stash as much as possible. So the exact chunky glitter I use is no longer available. But if you just do a search for chunky glass glitter, I bet you you'll find something that you like and that strikes your fancy. <laughs> so I just wanted to add some sparkle because they're getting married. So of course they need some glitter. And after this, you'll really just kind of be watching me assemble. So life. So my husband and I recently moved houses. We're still in the East Bay area. We are no longer living next to a train, which, oh my gosh, is amazing. It's nice and quiet. Um, we're also no longer in a town home. We're now in a single family home. So our little Miko dog has a small backyard where he can live his 15 year old lifestyle to the fullest so we're really happy in our new house but of course that set us back a couple months um on top of that i also finished up yet another uh, montessori certification so i don't think i've talked about it much but i am a teacher i have my montessori certification in infant and toddlers already but I've been working the past year on completing my three to six year old certification. So that is done. So I feel like I finally have time to do what I love <laughs> again. Of course, I love teaching, but crafting was definitely put to the side. So that's what's happening. Um, I'm happy to be back. <laughs> so thanks for letting me ramble for a quick minute. Now I am adding some, these sunflowers, guys, go to your dollar store. Uh, locally, we have Dollar Tree. And I find all sorts of little seasonal things that can be used for tags or vignette boxes. These sunflowers were purchased at a Dollar Tree. So I'm just snipping them right off. I added some Distress ink in a brown and fossilized amber color. And I also put some of the Distress Mica stain on them as well. Because, 
you don't want these sunflowers to look too living because they're on a Halloween tag. <laughs> so, of course, they had to be a little dead. Um, I'm adding tool. My favorite thing to do with tool, you just saw it there quickly, is to blast a tool with a heat gun. And it kind of shrivels up and shrinks. It gets thicker so you can see it better. Um, I This is about the only thing I use my tool for nowadays. Again, this big old roll of tool was purchased at the dollar store. I actually got it in a three pack. So I got lots of different Halloween colors at the dollar store and I'm sure it will last me for years. So I'm going to border that frame with the tool and with those dead sunflowers. And you saw I also used that um, butterfly that you may have seen me pick up. That butterfly is from the most recent Halloween transparencies um, ideology collection. And again, that's something that's seasonal. But again, don't feel discouraged if you can't find it. You will always find something similar in whatever seasonal or non-seasonal uh, products Tim Holtz comes out with. You know that they will always be fabulous. <laughs> so um, I'm going to add the film strip to the back. This is a classic item linked below. I love that film strip. I use it all the time. And Really, I'm going to just add the dearly departed. So spooky. It kind of reminds me, speaking of, we're going to be going to Disneyland soon, which I'm so excited. So, of course, this is giving me slightly Haunted Mansion vibes, which I can't wait. <laughs> it's been many years since we've gone. So that will be a delayed birthday gift. Oh, here's the tag. It's mostly coming together. So I'm going to add this foam tape to pop it up. The dimension is pretty all over the place with all the gluing that I did on the back. So using the foam tape will kind of even it out. And then I can just attach it to the tag. So it feels good to create again in our new home. I have a designated craft room, which is really exciting. We did not have that in our townhome in Berkeley, I did have a nice space, but it wasn't my own space where I could close the door and, and pretend that the mess wasn't there. So it's nice to be able to close the door and do my own thing. So yeah, we're it's good. Hopefully I can create more. And I appreciate all your feedback on the last uh, video, however long that was. Uh, you guys telling me what you wanted to see and sounds like you want to see just a lot more mixed media, art journal, and experimenting, which I was really happy to see because I love experimenting along with you all, whether it's a fail or a success. I think that's a big part of creating. So here is the finished tag. Remember, use what you have. That's the whole point of seasonal is it's seasonal. So <laughs> thanks for following along. It feels good to be back. Again, all the links are and supplies are listed below. Thank you all. Bye.